NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. InfoCision has been giving job seekers career opportunities for the past 30 years. 150 positions are needed to be filled as soon as possible, and many of them at the Newcastle location. InfoCision handles inbound and outbound customer service and sales calls for the nation's largest nonprofit and leading media and cell phone providers. Come join the InfoCision team that offers excellent benefits. You can call or stop in at 253 East Washington Street, Newcastle. InfoCision, the number one call center company in the world. Good morning, Newcastle. Welcome to Wednesday. Yes, that 27th of January as we're rolling through a month. Lots of great news and exciting stories here for you in Newswatch. Yes, Crime down in the city, as reported by Chief of Police, and also more suspects rounded up in drug air raids. You know, uh, tremendous. We've got stuff in from Sharon Regional. We have tips, news, sports, weather, all that is straight ahead for you when Newswatch rolls on after these messages. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now with two locations in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side and 1101 Highland Avenue. Call Cedars East, 724-658-9260 or Cedars North, 724-652-7657. Ever. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the neighbors in life, talk to State Farm agent Michael Joseph in Newcastle. State Farm is there. Come dine with us, come dine, come dine today. If you could use some real good food, there's a place not far away. If you could use a drink or two, or a place to go and play, come to Gallo's Italian Villa today. Yes, welcome back to News Watch, and would like to thank so many of you for tuning in as you do daily. And uh, let's get right to the birthdays today before we go any further. David Schof, Tim Glass, David Yearage, Aaron Miller, Tommy Fontana, Tony McKay. Carmen Cusatrone, Renee Phillips. We hope you are having a great birthday. Get that second piece of birthday cake and get ready because News Watch here with all of its top stories is coming right at you. Yesterday we reported crime was down in the city and dropping 
And that's a good thing. And it's because of things like this. Yesterday, the uh, Lawrence County uh, District Attorney reported that 15 people were rounded up allegedly for uh, drug charges. Uh, everybody has their day in court, so we'll see that. But a lot of people would take that as bad news. But here at NCTV 45, we're starting to think that that's a great deterrent to people doing what they should and avoiding what's wrong. Now, as I look at these stories coming in, okay, I see so much more. It's uh, We're getting stuff in from the governor as we speak, but let's go to the Hoyt right now as they announce another competition. And uh, yes, April is National Poetry Month, the largest literary collection in the world originated with the Academy of American Poets in 1996 to encourage the reading and writing of poetry in the classroom and beyond. In keeping with the spirit of the arts and education, the Hoyt is pleased to announce an annual high school poetry contest. The competition is open to 7th and 12th graders, students in, living in Lawrence County. All poems must be originally published works of uh, any subject and with the exception of prose, a panel of judges will award the first, second, and third prizes in both junior and senior high school. The first place is $100. Winning poems will be recognized at an award ceremony April 22nd at 6.30. The deadline for entry, March 11th. So uh, something to think about, and uh, maybe the youngsters watching might want to check that out as we uh, go through Newswatch. Maybe uh, you want to start writing down your poems. You may be a poet and still not know it. Yes, um, this in from Sharon Regional. And let me get to their story here. It says, One of the great success stories of cancer research since the annual PAP test cervical cancer screenings was introduced in the 1950s. Cases of what was once the number of cancers in women has plummeted. Today, we know cervical cancer can be prevented with the proper screening to find precancerous before they develop into in a, in a cancer, um, invasive cancer, said Dr. Tomi. Uh, this, and this is the lady that just came in, Shakesky, an obstetrician and gynecologist at the medical staff at Sharon Regional. Okay, if a precancer is found, it can be treated, stopping cervical cancer before it starts. And she goes on to say one, fa one factor of cervical cancer is prevalence in a human uh, virus in society. 80% of sexually active women become infected with the virus at some point. Okay, and there are more than 100 strains. Okay, and later they go on to say Sharon Regional is a leader in this area. And by all means, give them a call at 800-451-5599. Or the local number 724-983-5800. To learn more about that and the award-winning doctor that has just got, gotten on staff there at Sharon Regional. 
So, uh, so many things as we go through this news watch. Now, we're going to take a second to hear from these sponsors, and then we're going to return with more top stories after these messages. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, they're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Yes, friends, Chalella and Carney Floral Designs is alive and well in Newcastle. Owner and designer Stephen Doherty and his staff have a special motto. We love what we do, and it shows in every area of the business. Stop by their pleasant Southside store at 1006 South Mill Street. Chalella and Carney has been there for the community with quality and service since 1943. You can go to the website, chalellaandcarney.com, or call 724-652-8412. The Beanery Depot and Deli. Coffee, made to order subs, snacks, and more. Meatball sandwiches, fresh and hot. Pepperoni rolls, fish sandwiches, chicken, milkshakes. The Beanery Deli. When you're hungry for something special and it won't cost you a lot of beans. Yes, I'm in Mr. Pizza. <laughs> Hi, we're here with... Sydney. And, <laughs> and it looks like you girls have had a great lunch. Can you tell me what you have, Sydney? The ham and cheese sub. Oh, today's special. <laughs> what did you have? I had pepperoni pizza and part of the ham and cheese sub. And they were both very good. Hey, it's always <laughs> best when you get your food and somebody else's. <laughs> and here at Mr. Pizza, what a great time. Stop down. Welcome back to News Watch, and as we continue on, uh, Miss McDowell uh, made me aware of what, uh, there's a women's conference, and not to get confused, and let, let me kind of strain, strain this out, because I wasn't aware of it. First of all, there's the Athena Leadership Award. Nominations are accepted until March 15th, and that's part of the Women's Fund of the Community Foundation, and then they're all ha having a dinner April 19th at the Park Inn by residence in, in West Middlesex, and we talked about that. Now, there is another, it's the Lawrence County Women's Conference, and we're going to be telling you more about this in the upcoming days. This is from the United Way. And uh, they're looking, we're going to have an interview with them probably at the end of February to explain what this women's conference is about. They have a Facebook page where they're talking about Lawrence County and the community. And their conference is the ninth annual Lawrence County Women's Conference. And that's March 12th, okay? So you're going to want to check that out and stay tuned to NCTV45 for more information coming up on that Lawrence County Women's Conference. Uh, thanks to... Um, Mr. Tony Pasquale Romeo, he's out there telling people about NCTV 45, and we just had him uh, kind of bop in. And uh, Ronnie Dam has also entered the picture, now telling us it's time to start thinking about Earth Day. Elwood City's starting, 
and what can be done here in Newcastle. It's a great idea. And, you know, they always have a great time with that in, in Elwood. And uh, contact Ronnie Dim. She's, she was on NCTV 45 a couple times talking about Earth Day, positive things that you can do. And uh, I, I wouldn't want you uh, to give up on being a little ecology-minded. You know, uh, it's really important. Keep in mind that um, it's time to turn in those tickets and forms for the Lawrence County Hockey, okay, uh, as they have uh, their night at the races. And um, I'm going to be telling you more about these uh, fundraisers that are from just about everybody as they come in. We have quite a few people that uh, it's a great way to support youth and have these things coming in. The Lawrence County Lightning Night at the Races, and I believe they have that scheduled for, well, I'm just going to check it out right here on their page uh, as uh, I get this in. So bear with me. Lawrence County Lightning Hockey. And uh, they're having their their page. I guess they have one for girls. It's called I'm a Sister of Lawrence County Lightning Hockey. It isn't that cute. And uh, let me see if I can bring that up for you. Because they are having this fundraiser. And uh, it would be great to uh, just stop and see. I'll check for it later in the program. And we're going to take a break and get to these messages, and we'll be right back after you hear from some great sponsors. Hello, friends. Are you a person on the go? Do you need snacks, cookies, Maybe just a deli sandwich, lottery, or gas. It's Geno's in Mahoning Town for all your needs. Stop by Geno's and tell them NCTV45 sent you. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste and meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. Butts Flowers and Gifts offers top quality flower arrangements and gifts for any occasion. The pros at Butts Flowers and Gifts provide exceptional customer service and each bouquet is hand arranged. Stop in and check out their wide selection of gift baskets and plants. They provide flower delivery service locally to Newcastle, Bessemer, Edinburgh, New Wilmington, West Pittsburgh, and across the nation. It's Butts Flowers at 120 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Call 724-652-7727 or toll free 1-800-443-7726. Welcome back, and now it is time for that Cedar Sports Corner. And let me remind you, I was looking for this. Lightning Hockey presents a night at the races Saturday, April 9th at St. John's Hall. The cost is $10. Food, pop, and fun. A lot of good times there. That's 725 Pearson Street in Newcastle. Doors open at 6. Races begin at 7. And um, this in, too, and I want to mention this, Newcastle Cross Country Bingo. March 6th, doors open at 11 a.m. Five, uh, it says uh, they're playing cover all. Tickets are $10. 
and there will be a Chinese auction, a bake sale. And uh, for more information, go to the Newcastle Cross Country uh, site. And uh, I'm, going, I'm looking for an email coming in on that as we speak. And, uh, you know, so many of these things come up so fast that it's uh, rather difficult to uh, just keep up with everything that comes into our NCTV45 newsroom. Now, let's take a look at the NHL. Well, those Pittsburgh Penguins, yeah, I told you they were, uh, they were doing battle with, uh, and let me check that, the Devils of New Jersey. And uh, I don't see their score up here. Wow, is that really something? Somebody in our sports department screwed up. But I went out and got it. And uh, it, I guess it's not in yet. We'll check it. Uh, the Pens having a rough time this year. And uh, what could you say? Hats off to them. Maybe they'll uh, get it together and kind of get it bolstered up. In other sports action in the NBA, the Miami Heat will be at Brooklyn while the Oklahoma City team will be up in New York battling some snow, I guess. And Sacramento of Portland, Dallas at the Los Angeles Lakers, and uh, the Clippers will be visiting the Pacers. And, uh, you know, we appreciate being your home for high school basketball. Now, the Canes were away on Tuesday uh, taking on Hopewell. Look for the Canes to be back on track and back on NCTV 45 on Friday when they take on Ambridge. Now that was the Cedars Sports Corner and we're going to return after this quick timeout. Pegley's Pasta and More. When you're hungry for that great Italian taste, bellissimo, it is tremendous. You have to stop by Pegley's for pasta, sandwiches, pizza. Yes, it's Pegley's Pasta and More. For that great Italian taste, it's not just for Sunday anymore. Head over to Pegley's. Whether it's a scheduled appointment or same-day service, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning offers 24-7 service for commercial, industrial, and residential, as well as fire and water damage restoration. Using state-of-the-art technology, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning experts are ready to professionally clean your carpet today. Call DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning for a free in-home estimate. Thank you for making us Lawrence and Mercer County's largest carpet cleaner. And remember, nobody gets your carpet cleaner. If you're having a party, then Keystone Specialty is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Yes, welcome back as Newswatch rolls on with these top stories. The governor, Tom Wolf, thanked 
the Pennsylvania National Guard, who was always ready and always there, and that last weekend was no exception, for the 326 soldiers and airmen who were called to state active duty to support during Winter Storm Jonas. As a result, several people were rescued from the elements, sheltered, fed, and provided medical care. And uh, he goes on to give them a big thank you, and we thank them for their service. Now, as we go through all these emails that come in, we'd like to thank Courtney Carbone for joining the NCTV45 family. And also, we'd like to thank Kimmy Panaccio. Now, we're continuing through uh, the uh, Governor Tom Wolf also went on to say about the turnpike between Somerset and Bedford and how it was one of the most uh, tricky parts of the turnpike. You know, PA State Police helped get people unstuck on I-81 North and the ABC 27 contributed some video. We didn't feel that it was uh, really important to put on at this time since the snow really wasn't in the western part of the state. But once again, thanks to all who were there making everything right. Now, speaking of this sunny western part of the state, don't you think it's time to go swimming? Yeah, take a dip at Moraine State Park, and I'm not talking about taking somebody with less faculties than you, but it's Lawrence County's Habitat for Humanity. It's a, one of the bravest fundraisers of the year, and it's at Moraine State Park, Portersville. They raised almost $20,000 last year, and it puts a needy family in a nice house, affordable housing, a decent house, so that that family's dream could come true of home ownership. Check that out. That's February 20th. It'll be a great time. Go and brave the elements. Take a dip at Moraine State Park in February. Because after all, this is the greatest castle in the world. And when we return, we have a whole bunch more coming for you right after this. I saw your eyes. Hello, folks. Angelo Parada for Ferrone Brothers. Wow, you have to try their food. Great Italian food and two locations on the south side on Mill Street and on Wilmington Road in Newcastle. Ferrone Brothers for pepperoni rolls, pizza, any Italian dish that you can imagine. Okay, and a whole lot more. It's Ferrone Brothers. Stop by. They have those daily specials, and they look forward to seeing you. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. Gentlemen, if you want to look your best with high-quality clothing, then I recommend Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle. Mike Caggiano is the owner, and he and his staff have been in the business for decades, and they will always give you the right recommendations. They also carry Rondinelli tuxedos. That's Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors, 210 East Washington Street, downtown Newcastle. Call 724-652-3851. Welcome back, and uh, Newswatch rolls on. Uh, we talked about the indoor cornhole tournament and fundraiser Sunday, January 31st from 1 to 4. Make sure that you stop out there. Mr. Lou Bosco, it was great hearing from you yesterday. I appreciated the call, and I look forward to being able to talk to you later on. And it will give us excellent reviews on your book and um, some chance to talk about things going on in and around the community in Newcastle and uh, 
particularly the Catholic community, as that Cornhole tournament that is out at St. Lawrence is an excellent opportunity, and we talked about it throughout the week. Make sure that you get to it. And also remember that February 6th, and time is drawing near, it's a benefit for St. John's. It's a Mardi Gras at the New Englander. And remember, you have to be over 21 to uh, be able to participate in that nice thing that they're having up there. Women Connect of Lawrence and Mercer County is being held. It's the first one, and it's at the confluence right across the street here from 11 to 3. And uh, they're going to feature wedding planning, celebrating a life event. Uh, there's going to be all kind of vendors, social and corporate planning, cake bakers, uh, and just a whole bunch of things. That's this weekend. Call 724-946-2029 if you have any questions or you need some more information on that. You know, come downtown. It's a great way to get some great tips on things happening that may just affect your life. Now, we're going to take a brief break, hear from these sponsors, and return with weather, wrap-up, so many things. We'll be right back. Dynio and Olson Law Group, where every client matters. Serving Newcastle, Elwood City, and Youngstown. Daimyo and Olson handles criminal law, bankruptcy, civil matters, workers' compensation, personal injury, medical malpractice, divorce, wills, real estate, and many more legal issues. Call any one of their offices in Newcastle, Elwood City, or Youngstown with these phone numbers. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Daimyo and Olson Law Group, where every client matters. Whether it's time to fix the furnace, throw the salt, shovel the drive, it's Paul D. Weller Hardware. We have what you need. Whether it's time to get warm, make the macaroni, make the ravioli, make the pizza, throw another log on the fire, it's Paul D. Weller Hardware. Hey, let's go sled ride. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Owner Bill Cast and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items you remember as a kid. Just to name a few, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and more. You can also buy homemade cup Italian ravioli. Bill's Bake Shop, located 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoningtown section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, close Monday. Bill's, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. Well, yes, it's time for that Crane Room 45 weather. And yesterday it clouded up in the morning and then the sun gave way and then the clouds came back. What's your Wednesday look like? And after last night's overnight low of 26, what are you going to see on Wednesday? Well, showers. Yes, with a high of 31. Now, be careful because when that temperature is around that 31 degrees, you get a chance of ice, snow, rain, a little bit of everything. So I would caution you on Wednesday as you get out and about. And Wednesday night, cloudy, a low around 20 as the temperature begins to dip. But never fear Mr. Gary West because on Thursday, partly sunny skies will return with a high of 33. Thursday night, there is a 30% chance of snow showers with a low of 26. Your Friday, mostly cloudy, a high of 31. Friday night, mostly cloudy, a low around 24. Saturday, mostly cloudy with a high of 42, Saturday night's low, 32, under mostly cloudy skies. Sunday, as you wrap up your weekend, 
There's a chance of showers with a mostly cloudy high of 44. The chance of showers is 40%. The chance of rain remains and actually goes up to 50% chance of rain with a mostly cloudy low of 34 on Sunday night. And then as you return to work, if rainy days and Mondays get you down, you're not going to feel good about this because there's a chance of rain and snow showers. Monday, as we get into February with mostly cloudy skies, a high of 44, and that chance of rain is 40%. Now, that was Crane Room 45 weather, and we got so much more. Just hang around, grab that coffee. We'll return after these messages. Wow, yes, it's fun to go to the Y, and now with great affordable rates, it's more swimming, more exercise, more family time. The YMCA in downtown Newcastle, or the Y Zone on Eleanor Drive in Shannon Township, welcomes you to a variety of programs, exercise, and fun events. If you're craving pizza and more, then Little Johnny's 2 wants you to come through the door. Their menu includes many pizza varieties, jumbo wings, hoagies, calzones, strombolis, flatbread sandwiches, bread bowl salads, soups, and more. Dine in, take out, or have them deliver. Little Johnny's 2 can even cater your next party. Their prices are right, and the food is the way you expect it. Little Johnny's 2 is located at 130 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Call 724-657-2210. Welcome back, and now it's time for our tips of the day as we continue with this Lifestyles segment. And today is about, yes, making better coffee. Now, you know, there's great coffee you can get downtown right here at the Confluence or at Two Rivers Artisan Coffee, but here's some tips if you're doing it at home. It says, number one, Make iced coffee, try brewing it cold. Save money, for number two, by making your own pumpkin spice. I do that all the time and put it in my coffee. Freeze your leftover coffee into ice cubes. Now that I haven't tried. Request the lower children's drink temperature at Starbucks to ensure you that your coffee is cool enough so that you could sip it immediately. I didn't know they had a children's temperature for coffee. I have to remember that. Now this I do all the time. Heat the mug before adding coffee. It keeps the drink warm for a longer period of time. Yeah, you just put, put your cup in the microwave and uh, it comes out just right. And if you ask nicely, they say at uh, the coffee bars, they will use a French press to brew a cup of coffee that you want. Now, I, I say check out Hector over there at Two Rivers because their coffee is really tremendous. I mean, it's the best I've ever tasted. Add spices like cinnamon to your coffee for a delicious change of pace. Look for something to tide you over until lunch. Try, try, try buttered coffee. I tried that once. My kids flipped out. Periodically clean your coffee maker with white vinegar. And tip number 10, coffee makes excellent uh, odor removers for small spaces like cars, refrigerators, and freezers. So put your coffee grounds in your car? That's kind of weird. But I'll tell you what's not weird. Let's take a look at these sponsors and we'll be right back. Funding for this program provided by Washington Center Physical Therapy, Norm A. Gabriel, MSPT ATC owner. 
Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. There's more than me. Well, that's going to do it here for us on this Wednesday as we make it over the hump in this last week of January. And look, here at NCTV 45, we give you all kind of tips. Tips on coffee, tips on what's going on in the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence, and so much more. So, like I tell you every morning, Make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll thank you for it. And by all means, get that second cup of coffee and make sure it's perfect because we showed you how to do it. And have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. J&J's up next and we'll see you again tomorrow. Love, sweet melody. 